Hi everyone, this is a quick tip on how to analyze uh, weldments from Onshape in some solid. You know, uh, Onshape has this nice feature script capability and the, there's a feature script that's been written to create weldment beams. And I got this model to analyze, but when I looked at it, I noticed that, that the model as defined had a really large overlap between this beam and this beam. And going back and looking at the feature script, you can see that it just wasn't trimmed. And if I would turn it on and trim it, you know, I could get the proper uh, beam configuration. But what I thought was, instead of going out and trimming it, let me go back and analyze it trimmed and untrimmed and see what the difference was in SimSolid. There, here's the model in SimSolid, and the first time I've analyzed it already with the trimmed beam. So you can see there's my trim beams, there's my uh, display shape, uh, and there is my uh, von Mises stress. So uh, let's go and analyze it again, but this time I just want to bring in that original model that had the untrimmed beams. So I can go into my cloud browser, open up my models in, uh, in Onshape grab that first part, bring it in. And now, since it was already had one geometry there, it goes and it comes and says, let's make a second design study, but apply the same boundary conditions that we had to the first design study. So that's what I have down here. And you can see that I have the same model, uh, constraints at the bottom, loads at one end. But this one has this really um, overlapped uh, area there. And if I go back and look at my my uh, connections, you can see that, well, I got connections top and bottom, but, you know, it it uh, it did connect the model uh, and it did connect the load path, but maybe not um, as completely as uh, what you would do uh, with the, the, tri the correct trim beams. However, that being said, uh, you can still analyze this. And this is one of the strengths of some solid in that you can analyze um, some connections like this that would not be as permissible uh, in traditional FEA. So let's go back and try to run that one. Take the default materials. Okay, it's done. So here is the model with the correct trimmed uh, weldment beams. And here is the same model uh, with the untrimmed beams. You can see the displacements are very similar. The overall display shape and the overall displaced magnitude is very similar between the two beams. So in spite of the fact that we have you know, kind of a rough connection in this area and this area, we still capture the overall load, overall load path uh, and the, and the uh, stress state. Here is the stress state for the, the correct model. Here is the stress state for the uh, untrimmed model. And you can see, though, the stresses will change a little bit in this region, as you'd expect. The overall stress uh, picture of the model looks very similar and very similar peaks. So, you know, I, I guess the, uh, the idea here is, although I have maybe a little bit of a rough model, you know, in many other systems, I have to spend a lot of time cleaning up the model to make, to create my load pass. Here in some solid, I can analyze it as is and still get a very reasonable result uh, extremely quick. Thanks for watching.